Yes, as, uh, as mentioned, we, we formed this informal task group after this workshop in Oslo in February. Um, Shibon is also in the room and can help to answer questions. <laughs> and uh, I don't know if others. Um, so I will start with a little bit of, of rationale, if you go next, uh, on, on why we chose to do this and, and how we think Wikidata can help, show some examples of expeditions that we have started to describe and then show you how to join our efforts. So uh, we think uh, that, uh, well, um, um, expeditions is a major source of, of the objects we have in our collections. And uh, we think there's a need to link this to other entities, uh, such as the specimens and the collectors. Um, we need some identifiers for the collections to do so. And at least um, as a temporary solution, we can use the QIDs. Uh, Wikidata offer a multilingual platform to describe things, and uh, we think this is appropriate. So, so, so next, uh, what we propose, and this has then formed an informal task group after this workshop in February, and we were thinking to propose to, to make a pitch here now for, for make, maybe starting a task group in Tandrick. And um, roughly what we want to do is to develop some guidelines, recommendations, how to use Wikidata for describing collections. No, <laughs> that was the main topic of the workshop, but uh, the expeditions. Um, and we have started to look at uh, the properties and developing some tools to use Wikidata for this. And, and we started to look at some solutions for linking them to, to the specimens in the collections. So next. More specifically, we have been looking at, uh, at using, uh, well, the Wikidata Research Expedition um, uh, entity for, for describing them. Uh, and we think that uh, this is uh, aligned with the Darwin Core event. And we've been using parent event ID to, to link it uh, to, to the events that are linked to the specimens. So next. Um, so why choose uh, Wikidata? Um, it's a very well-functioning, open, and collaborative multilingual platform to describe things. Uh, it includes uh, enormous amounts of entities described. Many of them are uh, relevant for, for our scientific collections and, and expeditions. It provides a very easy and, uh, and, uh, and good platform for enriching these entities collaboratively. Uh, and it does provide a sort of uh, stable identifier that we can use temporarily at least. And uh, by linking up to the entities in, in Wikidata already, we uh, uh, can link them to, to, to the collectors, to, to other things, the collections, and give them context, which can be enriched by, by, the, by the description of these uh, already existing entities. So next. Uh, there is uh, already more than four, 400 uh, instances of, of uh, expeditions described in Wikidata, and uh, many of them are uh, uh, sources of, of our uh, material in the collections. So next. So one thing we can um, do to understand a bit more these research expeditions in Wikidata is to look at the subclasses. So this is one tool that we've been exploring and look at that, uh, next. And to form the work and to work together, we have formed this uh, Wikidata project. I will show you in the last slide a bit uh, with a bigger QR code how to join this. So this is where we plan to do the work. And we have started to link up some of the examples and, and services uh, tools that we've been building from, from this uh, home homepage. <laughs> next. So, for example, um, you will find from, from, the, from the Wikidata uh, project page uh, uh, an easy access to a Spark SQL to look at the most used properties for, for describing research expeditions uh, existing in Wikidata now. And you can see participant. Uh, that aligns very well with the collectors that uh, uh, collect material in the collections. So, so they should uh, be participants in, ex in the expeditions. Uh, you have start time, end time, you have the itinerary with the via, all the places visited by the expedition and so on. So this 
is helping us to look at and explore what has been used and giving recommendations for how to use these terms. Maybe some of them are not used uh, properly. <laughs> um, so, so this is one starting point that we have been looking at uh, next. Uh, and then I will go through some examples. We've been choosing a few examples of expeditions to, to describe and give us guiding examples and, and test out how to use the recommendations that we are developing. So next. So the uh, Harriman Alaska expedition is sort of the model expedition that we've been using. And here we have extracted from the VIA in Wikidata the itinerary of where the expedition was visiting. I think it's Motley Shabon who's been working on, on this one. Uh, next. And uh, here is another model expedition, uh, the Archibald expedition from, from Netherlands. And uh, we've been looking a bit at what properties they use and uh, what is missing uh, to describe what we would need to develop, maybe new properties, and uh, how to start linking this to, to the CMS, the collection management system. Uh, next. This is uh, an expedition from Oslo, which we've been using to test out. Uh, I identified uh, some 1,300 uh, specimens in the museum collection that has been collected from this uh, expedition. And we are working now to link them up with the parent event ID in the, in the system so that they will be linked. Uh, next. This is also a good example. The, uh, last uh, autumn, a year ago, the, there's a project, uh, Nansen Legacy in Norway, that uh, do expeditions out of uh, Svalbard and, and Tromsø. And, and they started to, to publish, uh, they approached us to, to start to publish their data in GBIF, and they needed a way to, to, re, uh, to describe the expeditions um, out to collect material. It's um, not only um, biodiversity material there's also a lot of other expeditions so they so we suggested that they would start to describe the expeditions in wikidata and link it up to to the data files that they record and this is a little bit where the id come from uh, which we spun further on on the february workshop and here's an example with the parent event ID used to link to to the wikidata uh, page for describing their their expedition. So this is one from September two years ago, um, but there's also continuously new expeditions they have, which they do describe then in Wikidata before they go out and link up the data uh, to, uh, to the data set they publish in, for example, GBIF. Uh, next. So to round off, uh, we'll look a little bit what we plan to do, what we are working on now. So next. We had uh, a very nice talk with David Shorthouse about uh, maybe starting to, to include this in, in, uh, in Binomia. He has not promised anything, but we could use um, this work, this itinerary, and what we describe in Wikidata to, to validate um, the uh, participants uh, as collectors. Um, we can... Uh, use this uh, data annotated in Wikidata to give some recommendation guideline for who could be the collector. So these are things that uh, could maybe <laughs> be uh, included in Binomia as a, as a potential way to improve Binomia services. We also want to talk with GRCycle, um, which provides the normative identifiers, the uh, places for, for describing the collections we have. And uh, maybe we could also get better, more normative identifiers for, for the expeditions there. We haven't explored this very much, but this uh, ID. Um, yep, next. And uh, finally, this is how you can join us. So this is a link to this uh, Wikidata project page, uh, where we hope you will help us to develop this further. So thank you. <laughs> Great, thank you so much. Are there any questions in the room? Uh, thanks, Doug, that's really impressive. I, I was just wondering whether you've been in conversation also with any, I suppose, non-biodiversity-related expedition 
groups to see whether what you're doing is relevant to other kinds of explore, exploration and, and more on the, the humanities and arts side, for example. Oh. The Archibald, I think, maybe from Notre Dame list. I don't know if that has other aspects, but well, the humanities, no, but uh, the Nansen legacy ones, they collect a lot of, of meteorological data. It's mostly uh, hydrological, water, uh, oceanity data, not so much biodiversity. Uh, but yes, we, we haven't. Exp maybe, Shibon, do you know if we have explored the uh, humanities? No, we haven't, but um, having looked at the expedition data um, in Wikidata, it doesn't look like many people have engaged from other communities in this area, and I suspect what's going to happen is that once we set up guidelines and do it for our research expeditions, other communities will then jump in on the guidelines and adapt them for themselves, rather than us trying to consult with everyone before doing it. I think keeping it as a, a, a more narrow use case and then producing documentation would be a better way of doing it rather than opening it up to everyone and then getting swamped. Yeah. And one huge benefit is obviously that during the same expedition, it could be humanities and naturalists in the same expedition, so we can collaborate on Wikidata. Yeah. Um, thank you. That was so interesting and Siobhan, I think I'm going to line you up for another bit of a training session for my team. Um, bit of a related question. I'm curious about that definition of research expedition because a lot of our historic uh, herbarium specimens are from expeditions, but they weren't primarily, you know, they were exploring expeditions that had naturalists on them. So, yeah, that's not sure what we do there. In Wikidata, research expedition is defined extremely broadly. So, um, yeah, it's not, we're not narrowing that expedi that uh, definition. Yeah, so it would, your expeditions where someone's going out exploring and as a sideline picks plants and ends up in a herbarium, that would be a research expedition. It just would be. Yeah. Great, thank you. Okay, we'll move on to our next speaker, who is Yiming Gan. Uh, she's the Antarctic Biodiversity 